Chartered Accountants Ireland has elected Paul O'Connor, a partner with PricewaterhouseCoopers, as president for the coming year. In an interview with Accountancy Ireland magazine, Paul was asked about the impact of the banking crisis. Well, the current banking crisis has led to an examination both in relation to accounting standards, the way in which the banks have recognised losses on their loan portfolios, and also the role of auditors in that, and also regulators and other interested bodies. And what we've done is we've said that we're quite happy to take part in a, an overall review of what has happened with a view to trying to see where changes need to be made. One of the areas of focus that has been considered is, is, is as to whether the current model for booking loan losses by banks needs to be changed. In a way, I suppose these things swing back because 15 years ago people were worried about companies making big bad provisions uh, that had little justification as a way of, of building up some, some, some cushion to smooth out uh, when times became tough. Uh, the standards were tightened up to prevent that from happening. Uh, as a result, you get balance sheets that are bearer, and as a result, when you get shocks of the system, which such as we had in Ireland, uh, the, the result of that shock is, is much greater in terms of the reported losses. Uh, so we're looking at a situation where the IASB are saying, well, let's look at something like an expected loss model instead of an incurred loss model, so that instead of having a situation where, for example, if our economy contracts over a two, three year period, that you get losses that get recorded over that period, as the full extent of, of the damage becomes apparent, uh, that you actually get something that, that allows losses to be taken on a much more upfront basis. 20 years ago, in 1990, Paul O'Connor served as secretary to the Ryan Commission, which had been established to examine financial reporting reform and the audit expectation gap. With the expectation gap back in the news in the wake of the banking crisis, Accountants Ireland asked Paul whether much has changed. I think there's probably been a lot of developments in terms of audit expectation and the interaction of auditors uh, with their clients, but I actually think that the audit expectation gap in terms of the public and the public perception, uh, had, there hasn't been as much progress there and that's probably an area that we, we do need to focus on. I know that we're obviously going to have to look at this area, specifically in the context of the banking inquiry, and I do think that there are issues there that need to be addressed because uh, the challenges that have been experience in the banking sector include not just accounting for loan losses provisions uh, but also uh, you know, uh, expectations about what the role of the auditor was uh, in that period uh, and also uh, the, the role and, and the performance of, by other individuals that were involved, for example, financial regular, regulator uh, and other agencies that are involved. Uh, one thing that we've been quite clear on is that you know, it's not the auditor's role uh, either to uh, look at the business strategy and comment publicly on the business strategy, uh, nor the ethics of the organisation. Uh, but it is an area that I do think that it is worth having a look at uh, to try and see whether or not the, the actual role of the audit can be extended further. The one thing I would point out is that we take our auditing standards uh, from the Auditing Practices Board in the UK. Uh, there is also an international uh, auditing standards of the, uh, a, um, committee as well that sets up global standards. And it is important that whatever we do, uh, that we actually remain in sync with those bodies so that we have standards that are consistent with the best practice internationally uh, and that we don't build standards uh, for Ireland uh, that cause us to lose competitiveness uh, or that actually are uh, significantly out of kilter with the standards that are being adopted elsewhere uh, throughout the world. Um, but some of the issues that have arisen in Ireland are probably particular to Ireland. Yeah. There's no doubt that there are issues that have arisen in Ireland uh, in terms of behaviour, behaviour of individuals uh, that appear to be quite unique to Ireland. Uh, uh, and to a large extent those issues have been investigated. They're being investigated by uh, CARB, the Charter Accounts Regulatory Board, which is the, uh, the, the disciplinary arm uh, within the institute, although it does act uh, in, in an autonomous manner when it comes to disciplinary matters. Uh, and CARB has launched an investigation uh, into certain aspects uh, of, of uh, conduct on, by members and member firms. Uh, and I have no doubt that, that, that the report back that has been commissioned uh, and, and the actions that will follow will come speedily. Uh, certainly one of the things that I was heartened by was the, the, the speed to which CARB actually uh, announced that it was under, going to undertake a review. Uh, it is one of a number of agencies that is working away at this, but we would hope to have uh, some resolution in relation to this, uh, certainly 
by the end of the year. In the course of a wide-ranging interview, Paul said that during his presidency, Chartered Accountants Ireland will engage in the debate about the future of audit. He also set out some other priorities for his year in office. You can read the interview in the June 2010 issue of Accountancy Ireland. If you have enjoyed this video and would like to hear more, why not check out Accountancy Ireland's June podcast? This radio-style show features more coverage of Paul O'Connor's conversation with Accountancy Ireland, and, with credit still tight in the Irish economy, it has a segment on the newly established Credit Review Office, as well as some tips for directors on how to deal with a difficult chairman of the board. The show is widely available, including on the Accountancy Island website and on iTunes. Music